Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our No Shot campaign. We're trying to beat the game on Legendary Iron Man difficulty with uh, no shots, no explosives, nothing. It's just swords and sorcery. We're on the second last mission. It is time for the Advent Network Tower. We get individual concealment, yes. Uh, yeah, override looks good. Dodge increased by 33, yes please. And let's reduce the enemy willpower by 50%. We're actually taking it all, because why not? Let's launch the mission and get it going. We won't have time to advance our research or deal with the wounded. We should only deploy once we're fully prepared. Commander, due to conditions in the field, We'll only be able to send limited personnel on this deployment. Good. We're definitely We're only sending limited persons in here. We'll Sane and Divot are going to be to uh, mm, the core of the squad. And I'm thinking we're probably going to go with another Templar. So a Scorch might be the right, uh, the right option. Could also go with a Psyops, uh, just uh, for shits and giggles. But I think... Scorch is just fine. Alternatively, we could use Quick Feet and essentially deal. You know what? Why not? Fusion Blade. Yeah, we don't have enough equipment left over. We're going with Scorch. That is totally fine. She's going to be the tank. Damage dealer, divert, and Sane is going to keep them alive. We should be good to go. Specifically, if everyone has uh, two immunities. Hello, we just landed. No All right. Uh, yeah, we're pretty well concealed, I might say. Like we got individual concealment and even more individual concealment and even more individual concealment. Divert moves up. Nah, I don't want to grapple. Not yet. With all the time in the world. Might as well use it appropriately. It's going to be a fast mission, guys, and I can already see how uh, this here is disproportionately shorter than any of uh, the following missions. But it's just the nature of that particular mission. I wish they would have done it a bit longer. I actually enjoy that three-person uh, mission. And to be honest, I would have also liked to maybe see a bit more kind of multi-squad multi action. Let's say kind of the B and the C squad uh, do uh, some runs like, like this uh, network tower mission. And the A squad then essentially is rushing in and doing water world. That way you would have an actual incentive. We have multiple squads. All right. Good. So, how about? We're just starting with Reaper because there's really no reason uh, why we should not kill this guy. And potentially, of course, run into a big problem. Wow. That is... L th these are a lot of specters. Luckily, not all of them 
can attack us at the same time. It's, by the way, the perfect time. To use all of our abilities. Number one, let's get rid of the Andromedon for one round. The crowd controlling. We'll take care of it next round. Oh boy. So close, but we just can't really reach them. But we got advanced uh, teamwork, so that at least would work out. Let's start uh, from hitting those specters and killing each of them individually. All right, two down. <laughs> and of course, we're pulling yet another one. Fantastic. It's just getting better and better. All right. That was quite clear that we were not able to kill it, but the advantage is we finally got someone in range. Feel the power of the Templars. They know where we are. Good. Time for some parrying and let's send that one over. So, if we were to capacitate your discharge, that would only hit one. Well, that is not good enough for me. Okay, so I got it. But we're not. Uh, I'm fighting against the specter up there. Let's jump down. They do have lightning reflexes, so we really can't do that much against them. Eight protocol. And we should be fine. We got untouchable. And essentially only two specters. Uh, that's pretty much all they do have at this point. I'm under fire. All right. We are going to continue with essentially charging in and tanking this guy here the elders have protected them well and i'm wondering can we get him really down potentially not well, we could. But it would take us our next advanced teamwork. Ah. Too much armor. We have nothing to fear. Good. Even more advanced teamwork. Problem that I'm seeing is this guy will wake up and start shooting acid over to us. 
which I really don't want to entertain. Might as well just move over here for now. In the meantime, let's soften up this guy. We still got our individual immunity, so we're okay. Ah, that is unfortunate. Because we had parry. Yeah, that was unfortunate. I was under the impression we would have immunity against two hits. Might have been wrong. Oh wow, we definitely need some help. That's closer than I would have expected. We'll need to give him some time to recover when we get back. <laughs> we would have still been okay because uh, we can revive the protocol and Scorch could have uh, done the mission by herself. But yeah, that was close. Much closer than I would have expected. Pretty nasty turn of events. And to be honest, I was the, the reason why I was so cool... Uh, with uh, just him standing there and not really intervening was I figured we do have two uh, simple attacks that we could uh, take without uh, without even getting hit all right so it just so turns out this here is a bit more serious than I was expecting. Specifically since we do have another Shadowbound uh, creature back here. So... Let's just test something. Can we reach the Spectre? Yes, we can. But we're potentially not going to be able to kill it, not in one go. Unless, of course, we're amplifying and unless we're dealing a lot of damage. The reason why I want to do that is uh, it'll be two for the price of one. And the Andromedons are pretty nasty. On a second thought, the thing is, I'm not sure if uh, we can stand against the Andromedons. They just deal a lot of damage. I strike for my people. They're well protected. Good. We're parrying, which is fine. Nine points of damage, that's four, four, six, nine. Okay, that's definitely a hit and a kill. We have Implaceable and Untouchable. Good, we can't immediately kill this guy.
but we could move up here What's over there? and let our uh, Templar tank another round. This is going to be a horror, so three points of damage, which is fine. Uh, unfortunate that she's uh, that she's um, already wasted the deflect because this guy here deals the most damage. Luckily for us, we do have plenty of armor and plenty of dodge. Well, that was simple. My suffering increases. That, on the other hand, was pretty painful. Luckily, she is a real tank and as such can act uh, as a tank. Not really hitting them, but we can counter heal, which is okay for now. So can we hit? Well, we could hit over here. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Carrying. And this is probably not going to be a kill. But it is a lot of damage. Almost done. Diva takes an 8 protocol and we do have good enough of a defense. It's probably going to be an acid bomb. This unfortunately will go into lightning reflexes. Alright, Perry's done. So close there he's almost dead. I'm under fire. I'm being flanked. Well, this is a more gritty uh, mission than I would have thought, but I absolutely love it. No mimic beacon, just straight up carnage. All right, cool. Very good. Good. How about we're just... Wait. Why can't we simply move like this and this and attack? Oh, nice. Just a few more enemies. That's what we needed. Good. But this elite specter here finally dies, and with it, Big deal. the um, shadow duplicate. Uh, Moving over here, implacable and untouchable. Strike! 
Good. We're eventually getting the upper hand here. Parrying. And yeah, Diva could take some extra healing. Just to top him off. And we're eventually moving further. Shadowbound. Shot wide. I'm not one. To the earth. Well, look at that. By the way, I think that Mind Shield very much protects against uh, Shadowbound because uh, mm, Divert here has not received a single uh, Shadowbonding. On the flip side, the only person without a Mind Shield has been Shadowbonded the entire time. So my initial suspicion that I had in, uh, from the Lone Wolf campaign that the Mind Shield actually protects against Shadowbond kind of seems to become true. Position confirmed. Good, let's hit the capacitator discharge. Reaper time. Two, four, six, eight. Kill. There you go. Spectre kill. Fantastic. In my defense, Happy now. it was not the easiest uh, fight, specifically on uh, without mimic beacons. But yeah, missing uh, the, th that one critical situation where we almost uh, got killed, that was stupid. Good, we're just hunkering down. We got untouchable here. Taking heavy fire. Good, let's charge there and show the, show the tower who's boss. going to be able to kill the tower not in one go which means I would really like to put an aid protocol up here so that the tower has a harder time hitting down okay so I got one What's over and there? we should be good to go copy that all right uh, 
Let's see. Almost there. What the heck is happening? Moving out. Good. Everyone moves in. There might be kind of a last pack here or another tower over there. Really doesn't matter all too much. On my way. Because this is the end of the mission. Target in range. Move to hack the command console. Alright, same shot. ends the whole thing with hopefully a successful hack. Oh yeah, look at that. Delays the dark event project by two weeks. Fantastic. As if that would matter now. Ooh, that was uh, closer than expected. There's something out there. All right, fantastic. Well, that was a hard-earned mission. And we were successful. So, let's go for the final mission. Looking really forward for that. We can deploy some of our wounded troops back into combat if you feel it's necessary. This operation is good. Hawkbite, Buzz, Roby, Buzz, Edgar Alien Poe, plus Dark Tarnaxis, Buzz, Sonar, plus. Whom are we missing? Hmm. I think I packed one too little. <laughs> I only equipped five. So... Hmm. Who are we actually going to use? Probably another ranger. How about we're going with Zirka? Or are we going to use another specialist? I don't think that we'll need that much healing. I think it will be actually quite a walk in the park. So before we're doing that, let's see. We could also take Halo here. Has superior speed, has blast padding, yeah, why not? We can take Halo. Welcome to the final team, Halo. He's going to bear the fusion axe, the mind shield. And potentially like a plated vest. I wouldn't see what else we need. We have plenty. Oh, I know what we can do. Wait a second. Yes, we could make armor available. And just give him the serpent armor. That would work. So yeah, decent dodge chance. Pretty decent health. And with him that should uh, that should work out well. I mean the other option is we're going in with another Templar. Potentially even stronger now that I think about it. Or we're going in with another uh, specialist, but the specialist only healing and um, yeah, capacitator discharge. Ah, mind control. So haywire protocol mind uh, mind control against mechanical units could could be something. 
I like the axes, they are pretty versatile. And he also fills in a uh, nice slot with the suit because we can crowd control, we can crowd control someone. Yeah, not perfect, but okay. The ghost of the other Templar is not as good because it does, the other Templar doesn't have Blade Storm, hence the ghost is, uh, tends to be also weaker. Now I think overall that this team here is the one that should uh, uh, deal with it. We have uh, a lot of sustained uh, DPS with three frontliners, healing, more healing if needed, plenty of uh, uh, plenty of mimic beacons. It really looks like that. Anyways, guys, uh, I will shorten the whole uh, cin uh, cinematics. You've seen them hundreds of times. Join me in the last mission as uh, we are going to hopefully rack it uh, with only swords and sorcery. See you in two days um, and bye-bye. Uh,